Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about running and compiling your bots. Okay, so, so far guys, we've been hitting the record button. We've been uh, making our bot like we did with the uh, Web 2.0 account maker. But once you've recorded, you've gone through your steps, okay, and made, got rid of any errors or any faults, the next stage will be either to run or compile your bot. Well, to put it another way, you run your bot first to make sure it, it runs okay. That shows what it's going to be like in the field if you um, go and compile it and sell it. So let me tell you the difference. If you're just going to um, run your bot for your own purposes, all you need to worry about is the run button here. If you're going to um, sell your bot, give it away free, or you want to move it to another machine, okay, then you can pull your bot, which is here, which makes it a standalone packaged program that you can then go ahead and sell. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, we're going to concentrate on the run button. So let's say you recorded your um, bot like we did with the Web 2.0. Okay, the next step would be to run the bot. So we'll click run. And you'll see your graphical user interface with all your resources here. We're just going to leave them filled out as they are. And this is also just um, so you're aware, this is what your um, the buyer of your bot or software or whoever uses it will see when they run the bot once it's compiled. So we press OK and the bot will run. You'll see that there's an icon here that says browser. If you click on that, you'll see the bot in action. You'll see it will take the steps that we made when we recorded the bot. So it's just going through all the steps, filling out the field. It's going to do the recapture. If you remember, then it um, presses OK to, um, <clears throat> to send the information. So it's just doing that. So by pressing the browser icon, we can watch the bot at work, so to speak. And that is the bot running, guys. Um, we're going to get into threads in the next video because you can have 10 browsers running doing this. You can have 20, 30, and so on and so forth. So I've just said it, I've only got it on one thread. So it's just doing the work that we told it to do in the record section. And there you go. It's, it ran the bot. It filled out the capture. And you can see there success. Number, um, numbers of success, sorry, one, no fails, and it took 47 seconds to do. And that's running the bot, guys. That's what you do. It's your last chance as well to, to pick up on any errors or anything that you want to change before you compile the bot. Okay, so that's running. We're going to, in the next video, we're going to run more than one thread, and I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is compiling. So we've recorded our bot, we've run it, we've tested it. Maybe you just want to run run the bot for your own purposes, so then you don't need to compile the bot at all. But let's just say that you've made a fantastic bot and you're going to go and um, sell it on some of the forums, let's just say. Okay, so the next step would be to press the compile button up here. So I just want to say too, um, if you remember from the first video, I said you only need the free uh, version of Bass. Okay, and that's totally true to follow along with these videos. However, um, if you are a premium member, or in other words, if you've bought um, Bass, the full featured version, then you can uh, compile your bot and have a control panel so that you can protect against um, people copying your bot. You can um, lock lock the, the, the bot to an IP, or you can um, take away users, add users. So it's something really to think about if you're um, going to sell your bot okay but for now we're just gonna carry on as we were I'm using the free version so I'm gonna call this bot web 2.0 okay and you can put the version number so this is the first version okay and then you just press OK you, you can also add a password if you want so um, people have to use a password uh, before they launch it okay um, and then you press OK <laughs> And that's it, guys. That really is it. So if you go to your, um, wherever you put um, Bass, Browser Automation Studio, then you go under Releases, and then, so I'll just click on Releases. You'll see all the bots that are made. It's in a nice folder, Web 2.0, which is there. And you'll see all the files. And that's it. So that folder is the program. So you could package that up. You could um, use WinZip or whatever, and it's ready to go. So the person gets this file. They click on um, to run the bot here, and that's it. That really is it, guys. So we've gone from um, making a script. We've we ran the script to make sure it works properly out in the field. Then we just compiled the bot, 
and it's ready to go. It's ready to be sold or shown to your friends, whatever the case may be. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to talk about threading and we're really going to step the pace up.